everybody so today I'm gonna to show a quick way on how to fix some of the fading that you'll get when you import sprite sheets or just kind of uh, 2d or 3d objects in general so doing right here you can see I have this uh, sprite sheet and we're going ahead and throw it in this texture for the sprite 3d and you're gonna get this kind of faded look right here and it just doesn't look right if you look at the image you're like hmm this doesn't look exactly what the picture looks like you know why is this happening and it's because of your import settings right so we're gonna to want to do is go over to import and click on the you know the, the thing that you're importing right here so in this case it says Minotaur sprite sheet and we're gonna kind of run through these settings real quick I'm gonna show you how to fix this so that it looks better so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is look at the, um, the the stream right here you're gonna keep this top section you're gonna keep um, only turn this off right here right this this detect 3d then you're gonna go down and change the compress mode to video RAM and I always change my loss quality to about one just helps a little bit I uh, keep the HDR enabled and the normal map we will leave on detect and down here for the flags we're gonna change this to enabled instead of disabled and the filter will remain on and then looking down at these last couple settings the only thing we're gonna change here is the standard uh, RGB values we're gonna enable them and that should be it so then all you have to do is re-import it and boom our sprite looks so much better it has this color back doesn't look all weird and contrasty and it actually looks like what the image is supposed to look like and one more thing if you look over here on this right side you can see that this double sided in this bottom right hand corner and this transparent is on generally those aren't on by default I kind of flipped them on and it'll also help make it look a little bit better and you can also turn this right here, this opaque prepass on. So if you keep that on, um, it'll also help your image look a little bit better. And then if you want your shadows as well. So that's really it for this video. I just want to show a simple way to fix this because I know a lot of people, especially on the forums, are always asking how to do this. And it's real simple. You just change these couple settings and you're done. So thanks for watching.